I am sure am returning on a Sabbath. You know not which one. Come forth, my women, apostles and prophets. Arise now. No longer let anyone tell you I have not called you to be prophets and apostles, teachers, evangelists, or pastors. I am the potter. You are the clay. Why will you listen to man, or those of the spirit of Pharisees? Speak this message forth, I give this apostle to speak. Join with her voice, women and men who recognize my voice, speaking forth from what I write through her. Encourage one another. Satan has silenced you far too long. Apostolic, prophetic warriors, you know who you are. Write, my handmaiden, and encourage one another. Learn from one another. I am coming back. Very shortly. Join hands with one another. You are not alone. I've scattered you around the world, but you will know one another in time. You need one another. You shall join with the men with the same calling. Yet those that refuse to acknowledge you, leave them to me. Argue not with those with deaf ears that mean well, and yet have done much harm to those women who are told they cannot have a calling of apostle. Even the one writing was discouraged and told this. She said, oh well, I shall continue doing what I am called to do, by whatever name you call it. Yet the man that tells her this was deceived by another voice, not my voice. He must repent for doing so. Will you be ready? Yahushua is coming back on a Sabbath. Tell all who will hear. Expect them all not to believe. This is not your problem, but their problem. You are but to obey. Together, those that I put together with you will be as a jigsaw puzzle, and no other pieces will match perfectly. Keep your eyes open for others. I am bringing a troop of prophets, apostles, evangelists, teachers, and pastors, and yet they will work as one unit, never thinking more of themselves than what they are. Knowing, standing together, they will accomplish doing what I ordained to be done. A great harvest of souls will be reached, and this will be one of the greatest soul-bringing ministries to walk the face of this earth. For I, the Father Yahweh, my Son Yahushua, and my Ruach HaKodesh's glory, many would not have been saved if I had not raised up this ministry. My apostle, that men reject as an apostle, knows my voice and writes what she hears. Other women I have called apostles, and they have been told they cannot be used in this office. But I say unto you, as I told this apostle, this is not for men to determine. How I use my handmaidens is my business alone. They are my clay, and I alone mold them and try them through the fire of their trials the way I so choose. Who is a man to say what I, Yahweh, can and cannot do? Many men have been deceived as they underestimate the spirits like David's. I have put inside my handmaidens. The more the men fight this, the more I raise up my David spirits in my handmaidens. Pride alone causes a man to speak such things. Repent today. I have ordained her to encourage both the women prophets and women apostles, teachers, evangelists, and pastors. She knows the heat of persecution for the high calling I have placed on her life and on all those called to be my apostolic prophetic warriors in these end times. Multitudes! Our women, do not let the men or Pharisees hold you back. This is what I, Yahweh, have done and am doing. Who dares to tell Yahweh he is wrong? I have brought you and the men and women all together to be one in my Ruach HaKodesh. You will move as one in my Ruach HaKodesh and you will speak as one in my Ruach HaKodesh. You will reach out to the unreachable and many a people that have been rejected and cast away as not savable. And yet I will send you forth with an anointing and words and a love that is not your own to reach these people. Yes. I say to reach a people that you will fear offending them, but by not speaking with my words will be the greatest offense of all. I trust my laborers who I send forth.
For I am the potter, and you are the clay. I know what I put in each laborer to join with her. I know what she is made of, and her weaknesses. Where she is weak, others I have made strong. Where the others to join are weak, she has been made strong. As a metal that is tempered with fire, so have I done with all those that are to join with you. You need not fear who will be joining you, for I tell you, it is not your choice, but mine. Any Judas seeking to join this ministry will have the same fate as Judas. I will not allow anyone to destroy what I myself have built and will continue to build. This ministry shall embrace the world. Despise not small beginnings, for I started out as a babe in a manger, did I not? On the earth, in the beginning, this is all the earth could see, and yet, in three years, look how many I touched and saved. All the books in the world could not hold what I did in that short time. Don't underestimate the power of my anointing. I have anointed you all, and will continue to pour forth my anointing in a greater way. You will know in yourself you can do nothing. But with Yahweh, all things are possible if you can believe. Now you are separate, in different states, but this is only temporary. For this year you will be together, close enough to touch. You shall travel and minister together. Don't try and make this happen. Watch me make this happen. Don't try and say which time and season. Only know it will be my time and season. Pray and cover one another. Labor together. Share what you have learned together. When I chose the partners to join with my daughter, I chose very carefully and I tested thoroughly. I love you so much. I trust you so much. I know you will not harm my servant, but instead will protect her and she will not harm you, but protect you. All those that join are very special, as a chain made of solid gold. I do not put any metal like tin or silver or lead along with my golden chain, but only the best metal I can find that has been tempered in the fiery furnace and came out as pure gold seven times refined. Never think of yourselves more than what you are. You are a beloved vessel of clay. I have poured forth my grace and mercy and gifts of the Ruach HaKodesh. You are a willing vessel that does not fight against the potter's hands. You have allowed me and will continue to allow me to mold you the way I want you to be and not the way you choose to be. Everything you have, you must put upon the altar and allow me to remove what I do not want you to have and give back what I do want you to have. Hold nothing back and trust me. I will give it back and not only what you sacrifice but give back more than what I am offered. Test me and see if I will not do as I say. My apostle, give me Nicomiah. Say unto me if thou will bring him. Put all you have on this altar, including this ministry. Watch what I will do. Be willing for me to remove anything or anyone in your lives that does not help you, but instead hinders you from being and doing all I command to be done in my name. Do this with everything, even your children as Abraham. You must believe that I am a good God and I will give back all that is meant to be a blessing and take away anything Satan put in front of you to be a stumbling block. Do you dare to do this, my children, finances included? Do not hold anything back, for it is mine anyway. What is thine is mine and what is mine is thine. Give it to me so I can give it back in a greater way. Tell my people, Write this, not only for your partners to join you, but also to my people, for the same commandment goes forth in these end times. Tell them, lay everything you have on my sacrificial altar. Say, dare to trust your father Yahweh, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKodesh. 
Dare to be willing for me to prune what should not be in your lives. Dare to trust that I will multiply the blessings I give back. Do this now before I have to take it without your permission. Do this, be it husband, wife, children, finances, home, car, ministries, the list goes on. Do this with anything you value, business, partnership, churches. You will know what it is. Anything that you know I do not approve of, your cigarettes, or any other vice you use to bring you peace, when instead it is just a counterfeit. For I am the Prince of Peace. You need nothing else. Give it to me. Sacrifice to me. And if it is meant to bless you, I will return it. If it is not meant to bless you, I will remove it. Because you, that call yourselves mine, I have the right to take away what I have given you, as well as what was given to you by Satan or by yourself. Anything that hinders your walk with me, do you want me to save you in the coming days ahead? Then obey me and do this. Pray if you don't know the meaning to this. Even lay your marriages on this altar of sacrifice. The godly will stand. In fact, I will bless you in a way you dare not have believed. You, my children, say you want my perfect will? Do you really? Will you really give me one day a week the Sabbath, Friday sunset, until Saturday sunset? You are to rest in me, rejoice in me, learn of me, lay aside your work, and instead do only my work, if any work is to be done. Pray, and I will show you what to do and what not to do. I am a God of perfect balance. I abhor anything unbalanced. Even the Sabbath must be kept in balance. This is a day of rejoicing in me, not a curse. This is a day to be a blessing unto you, not a day to be dreaded, but to be looked forward to. The Sabbath is not a day of bondage, but a day of liberty in I Yahushua. My disciples and I are an example of what to do on the Sabbath. Learn this not from the Pharisees that say this is to be a day in bondage, that say this is a day to suffer. Yes, I say great will be your blessings for observing my Sabbath day and keeping it holy. This is the day I will come again. Yes, I said keep the Sabbath from this day forward for those who claim to be my bride. Get ready, for your bridegroom doth come and will arrive on a Sabbath. You know not which one, but those not waiting for me on the Sabbath will miss me. Yes, I say again, as my coming to earth draws closer on this day, let me be in your thoughts words and deeds. Enjoy this day with me. Can you not forsake your pleasures of the world for me one day a week? Practice this now. The time is coming when the evil ones will take note who is really mine and who is not really mine. They will know by the mark of whether you observe and keep my laws. They will forbid you to gather on the Sabbath or acknowledge this day as the Sabbath. Remember Friday sunset until Saturday sunset. This is the Sabbath. Keep it holy, and a day for you and I to cuddle and get to know one another. You are my beloved. Those who do this will know blessings unlike any you have known before. Now I have spoken these things to my servants, and I have delivered this message to you, the people, in the midst of a personal prophecy given to those in this ministry. Yet, I leave you with these words to those who profess to be mine, and those who lead souls to me. Teach my baby's bride chosen ones and elect to be Sabbath keepers, not Sabbath breakers. By this shall all men know thee. By this shall ye be ready for my coming. Those with ears to hear shall hear. All others shall remain deaf. Leave them deaf, for it is a spirit of rebellion that enters in their hearts and souls. Leave them. Again, I say try not to change their minds. My scripture speaks the truth. It changes not. I, Yahushua, came to fulfill the law, not to cancel Yahweh's laws. Tell them, 
If they refuse to hear, waste not your breath on them. Remember, as in the times of past, many were killed for not observing my Sabbath. The time is coming when you will see great tragedies, and they shall occur on the Sabbath. People will shake their heads and wonder why. You shall know the reason why. I have just now told you. But how will the others know? They are offending me if you don't tell them. All who read this and recognize my voice, you are held accountable to tell the ones who do not know. They think by attending church on Sunday they are honoring my Sabbath. But my true Sabbath goes unnoticed by these same ones. I care not that you gather together every day and worship me, but still, on the Sabbath, this is my day and your day. We set apart to be special like none other. When you eat, remember you have an unseen guest. Remember what you do that day. I am doing it with you. If you're sinning, I will especially take note on this day. You have been warned once again. So my people cannot say they did not receive warning. Before I send the judgments to those that purposely disobey, I am a God of love and wrath to my enemies. You are only my enemies if you choose to be. I died for all. My blood was shed for all. I am no respecter of persons, yet I know who is truly mine and who is of the church of the pretenders. Beware trying to mock me by saying words others want you to say and yet not hearing my voice. Beware of speaking and not doing. I have spoken forth from this handmaiden when she least expected me to prophesy to the people once again. So you can say those who mock me from the last words of warning I gave. Hear me, fear me, believe me. Was it not I, the Lord your God, Yahweh and Yahushua, that spoke them through her? Beware of making her your enemy, for she is not held accountable for the words I speak. She is only held accountable if she fears to speak them in boldness. She has obeyed me thus far. Will you be a Sabbath breaker or a Sabbath keeper? Don't expect to be part of my bride if you are not ready on this day for me. Prepare now, my bride, for I am coming quickly. Great tragedies shall take place on my Sabbath. As a sign, this is a law that has not changed. You will know when you hear them. I change not for any man nor woman, time, or season. I am the same God, yesterday, today, and forever. My commandments are written in stone by the finger of I, the great God, I am, and I apologize not to anyone. I forgive easily all those that did not know better. This handmaiden I speak forth only now is learning my meaning of the true Sabbath. It was for a time and season. She is no better nor worse than all you others I am now teaching. Remember now, you are held accountable for what you know. What you do with this knowledge, I already know. Ask me on this day what offends me and what does not. Pray on this day and offer all up to me as a sacrifice. I will bless and multiply that which is a blessing to thee and me. Curse that which is a curse and thee and me. How many reading this will dare to trust your God? I already know the choice you make.